Thanks for coming back YouTube, it's Robert Hall and today I wanna to talk to you about my biggest problem with Sony cameras. I've been shooting with Sony for about four months and I've got one little thing that is just a major annoyance to me. Now I'm not sure this was worth making a dedicated video about, but the thing that bothered me most is that this was never mentioned in any of the reviews that I've seen, and it concerns both the A7R Mark III, the A7 Mark III, the A9, the A7R Mark II, if it has the most recent firmware update, so it's a pretty widespread issue. So here's the problem. All these Sony cameras that we're talking about have an electronic viewfinder, or EVF. The EVF is great, it's one of the biggest benefits because you can choose whether it is what you see is what you get, where the settings effect preview is on, and your settings, whatever your manual settings are, are represented in the viewfinder. You kind of are getting a preview of what your final image will look like. Alternatively, you can have the setting effect preview off. This is great if you have your settings locked in, but you want your EVF to just give you an auto-balanced visual of whatever it is you're looking at. Either way, you can modify that on your Sony's using the setting effect preview function by turning that on or off. And this goes for pretty much any mirrorless camera. But the problem with Sony occurs when you add flash to this. So let's say that you have your setting effect preview on because you want to see what your ambient light is going to look like. For some stupid reason, as soon as you put a Sony specific shoe on your camera, whether it is a flash or a trigger, the Sony camera will now change modes. The camera enters a new mode which intends to simulate flash on the subject by brightening the entire viewfinder. So regardless of your choice in the settings effect preview option, this completely overrides it just by adding a flash on. And no matter what, your viewfinder is going to constantly display an auto-balanced simulated light average that doesn't reflect your actual settings at all. I think this is an awful decision by Sony. This doesn't like selectively simulate light, it just brightens the entire viewfinder based on your subject and your meter. So essentially, it's identical to having setting effect preview off. So first off, this adds no functionality. Second, it completely locks photographers out from being able to see how their settings are affecting the ambient exposure. If you want to control how your background is, maybe say a nice sky and you want to make it a deep blue, you're not going to see that because your viewfinder is instead trying to show you proper light on your subject, brightening up that sky as a result, and you're left to take test shots and review those, which is completely defeating the purpose of that EVF. Don't get me wrong, there's definitely a time and a place to have the preview setting off. It's great when you're in a low light environment and you have all your flashes dialed in manually, then having that viewfinder show you a brightened view of the scene so that you can choose where to focus is great. But you have that option already using the settings effect preview off, so this override feature just causes confusion. Now when I first started using Sony back in January, the X-Pro S trigger was not out yet, they only had the original X1. I didn't want to go back to that trigger and I wasn't shooting much because it was a winner, so whenever I needed to, I just used my X-Pro N, the Nikon one. And I just dealt with the limitations of not having HSS and TTL. So when I was using that, I didn't encounter this problem at all, because the camera wasn't recognizing the trigger as a Sony-capable device. So I was already used to having the settings effect preview behave how I wanted it to. So the first time I went to use the X-Pro S, I was out in Vegas, I'm shooting in like really hard sunlight. So this is when I want the setting effect preview on, but instead I was just left with a wildly changing exposure in the viewfinder as it tried to simulate light on the subject. So the first thing I did was reach out on Facebook and ask all the Sony photographers that I know, I'm like, hey, what is going on here? This is chaos, this is not how it should be what's wrong and all of them told me the same thing that's just how it is and the only solution that i was given was to simply either remove the flasher trigger or turn it off and then i would be able to dial in my ambient settings and then turn the trigger back on and go to shooting ain't nobody got time for that my rant is over now let's talk about a solution when modifying the custom buttons on the Sony cameras, there is a function called Shot Result Preview. It's page 16 on the A7 Mark III. I'm pretty sure it's close to that on the A7R Mark III. I don't know about the other cameras, but it's called Shot Result Preview. So when you map this Shot Result Preview to a specific button, whenever you hold that button, even when you have a flash on, you will still see your ambient settings without any of that simulated light garbage. As a manual shooter, I just mapped mine to the AEL button, auto exposure lock, because 
that button is otherwise useless to me. But you can map it to any button that you choose. And while I'd rather not deal with this at all, it is a very fast and simple way to solve the problem. Like this video if you think Sony should just remove this feature or at least allow users to disable it from within the camera and just give you control using the setting effect preview button. You've literally got two functions that are just overlapping and working against each other. There's no point to it, Sony. You screwed up, fix it. I know this is a very specific video, but I know it was extremely frustrating for me, so I wanted something out there that would teach people how to fix it. Like this video if it helped you out, comment if you have any questions, subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos, and until next time, keep on shooting YouTube.